<sighs> it's about that time, you know. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike. I know I've been gone for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I was on Love Island with these two wonderful chocolate people right here. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? We was in Fiji shooting, but uh, I'm back. I'm being more consistent on YouTube, dropping videos uh, once a week from now on out, man. So today, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about the whole Sarah Highland situation. Uh, everybody's here that was involved except for Sarah Highland. Um, so we've seen a lot of comments, a lot of mixed reviews. You know, it wasn't my place to step in. Um, did, you know, KK want me to step in? Did Keenan even want me to step in? Why did I insert myself into the situation? Did I disrespect Sarah Highland? But we gonna get into all of the good, the bad, the ugly, everything we're gonna air it out today. Um, I'm not gonna say this is an apology video to Sarah Highland, because that's not really like, what I'm here to do today. I'm, I'm, what I'm here to do is just get to the bottom of everything that happened. Uh, but it seems like a lot of y'all are just hopping to conclusions and y'all don't have all the evidence. So today I'm gonna give y'all all the evidence and then you can make a choice for yourself. Okay. All right guys, so what do you think the main question is that people have about the Sarah Highland incident? I think people wanna know why was it any of your business? Why you of all people spoke up and what it had to do with you? That's a very fair question. I did see that comment quite a bit. Um, so let's get into it. And the whole thing, like, is it my business? Is it not my business? Yes, because I was invited to the red wedding ceremony. What is it called? Red wedding? Yeah, red wedding. Yeah. I was invited to the, the red wedding ceremony. I was an islander. Um, Keenan's my friend. KK's my friend. And if you see your friend being treated the type of way you don't appreciate, you're always going to speak up. But what you guys didn't see is, like, after I said what I said, they actually were like, oh, thanks for saying that, Mike. But I don't think they aired that. No. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like if you see your friend being treated a type of way, it is your job as a friend, you know, to step in. And I understand Sarah Highland was doing her job. Uh, I understand she has somebody in her ear telling her, you know, ask it again, ask it again, ask mm -hmm. it again, right? Um, I didn't say Sarah Highland, you're disrespectful. Yeah. I just said it sounded disrespectful the way she worded it one of the times. And what you guys didn't see is when I responded, it wasn't even to the exact question that they clipped in at that moment in time. Um, and who knows how many times she asked the question, all I know is it was more than once, and you guys obviously weren't there in the village, so you didn't know that. So I don't blame you guys for jumping on me, you know, jumping down my throat, being all in my case about it, because if she just asked it once, yeah, my reaction would have been a bit extreme, but you guys didn't see how many times she actually asked the question. Her job is to ask questions, that's what she got paid for, right? And my job is to be an islander and say how I feel, or else there wouldn't be a TV show if, if we couldn't speak our minds and say how we feel. So. That's pretty much all there was to it on why it was my business to, you know what I'm saying, give my two cents in the first place. What are the other questions? Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Defending KK my ass. You bumped your chest with your fist at him like, I got you, bro. You were salty. That's a black thing, though. Yeah, like. you the bump on the chest was more like, I got you, like, I got your back. Yeah, like, yeah. I see what they're doing, yeah. but I'm going to speak up for you. Yeah, yeah. That, and it wasn't like some, I'm salty, I'm mad. Or this. No. Like, and like yeah. you said, I don't even think you were disrespecting Sarah. That had nothing to do with right. Sarah. We all know she's a host. You know she's a host. She knows she's a host. I know she's a host. She's yeah. a host. Right. Like, it's not at her. It was just a repetitive question. It almost seeming like you didn't respect KK's decision. That's, that was the whole issue. It had nothing to do with Sarah. We all love Sarah. Sarah hasn't done anything to us. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's cool as hell. She comes in, she does the things, she vibes, and she leaves. It's smooth. Yes. Yeah. We love no Sarah. Deep. It's not any, I don't think it was supposed to be disrespectful to Sarah. It was just more of a, let me defend my friend. Right. Because yeah. he felt like it sounded disrespectful. So that was his reaction. When I say like it was fair for them to ask that question, I'm going in with the mindset they're the viewer. They don't really know the context of everything. They only know what they see. Right. So based on like what they saw, like, sure, that's a fair thing to say. Yeah. And, you know, obviously I wasn't happy about the situation. So I don't know what you really mean by salty, you know, but. I wasn't thrilled with with the things that went down. So yeah, call it what you want. Um, we all got different vocabulary, different words of saying what we mean. But you know, if you want to say I was salty, sure. Um, but me, like bumping my chest. That was like yeah. a you're welcome. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Pretty, like, I think it was like, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, so pretty much what I meant by bumping my chest is just like, bro, like I got you, like we're smooth, we're locked in, we're in the same wavelength. Because it did seem like at the time that everything went down, we were the only three that really understood. Yeah. You know yeah. what, I'm what was going on? Everybody, was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, I did see some jaws on the floor, like from some of the islanders when I said what I said. But mm -hmm. if you think about it, like culturally, we're probably the most alike yeah, out of everybody. Yeah. So like, you know, what I'm saying we perceive things the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, it could go back to the whole like microaggression, like yeah. what you say versus what you mean, or, right. or what you nah, say versus how it's perceived. Absolutely. So 
I feel like we were all kind of locked in. That's what the chest bump means. That's more of a cultural thing, and like I don't know what the race of the person who commented like the the whole like chest bump. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you could say it's like a black thing. Like mm -hmm. we all knew what it meant, and it, it wasn't like anything malicious. It's just like you know what yeah. I'm saying. Like you're welcome. Like we're on the same page. We're locked in. I got you. We're good. Okay. And yo, people think I really have beef. But I really don't like Sarah Highland. At the end of the day, I don't know the woman right. like that. Don't she don't know me. Like mm -hmm. I don't even think she lost sleep over the whole incident. Right. Yeah, like, she probably forgot it on the on, right. the, on the flight back home. <laughs> literally. And right. it's really not even her. She literally has people yeah. in her ear telling her what and to we, say. And we know that. I'm, everyone knows that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like y'all forget that she's a, a show host. Right. We all know she's a show host. Y'all know how hosts work. They sit there and they have some of them feeding them information from behind the camera. Yeah. Not just this show, like all shows. If you have a host, mm -hmm. they're not out there, you know, just going off the dome. Like, it's people telling them what to do, or like he said, like she said, they have cars or a script or something, you know? Someone said it was unnecessary for Sarah to ask that. If implied that she felt KK was making the wrong decision, she didn't ask anyone else if they were certain. So regardless of who spoke up to correct her, Sarah knew what she was doing and her delivery was off and not received well. She kind of like let Jonas say his piece about it when he wanted to leave and then it was kind of wrapped after that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it did feel like she was like almost pressuring KK to stay more. I don't know if that's because, you know, you know, she's an OG, like she's been around a while. She she brings in a lot of viewers, people love her. I got no clue why they wanted her to stay so bad, but it felt like they were almost trying to convince her like. To change my mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I was like, I don't think that's gonna happen because I mean, obviously you guys have seen, you know, every, you know, little rough patch of, of a relationship on national television. You don't see all the good moments. You don't see all like the deep conversations, all late nights, a lot of stuff you guys don't see on the TV show, right? Mm -hmm. So right. they if somebody's only seen the bad repeatedly and you don't have a break away from the camera, so they're seeing every bad moment in your relationship, it's such a new relationship with young people, I can see why some people wouldn't understand y'all's dynamic right. or understand y'all's connection. But it's like, for them to be like, you deserve better, like yeah. Keenan's not the one for you, like get it? Yeah. Oh, Bro, especially when you're on a dating TV show, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, also I got a question for y'all because I feel like a lot of the, like, the kind of heat around the situation is because Keenan himself is already perceived in a negative light by the media for his actions, you know, in the dating show. Are you guys on the same page? Have y'all spoke about that since? Like, have y'all cleared up? Are you guys exclusive now? Like, like what's happening? Yeah, we're definitely exclusive uh, now. Yeah, we're 100% exclusive. Like, I would say that that was in times, like, this girl is the only girl I have my eye on. You know that, you've seen us develop and grow all the good moments, all the bad moments inside the villa, and you've seen us outside the villa. You, you see where my eyes are, you know where my heart is at. She knows where my eyes are, where my heart is at. Like, this shit is as real as it can be. That's that's why there are rough patches. That's why there were bumps in the road, because we're actually building something real. We could have easily just cheat, chilled in there and try to win, win the money, but it wasn't about the money. It was actually about building something real. And I feel like we went through all that shit, good and bad, to get to where we are right now. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. that's how I feel about it, honestly. How do you feel about the situation, KK? Um, I feel like everyone just wants to judge, but it's because we went through our issues on national TV. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is not something uncommon that relationships go through. Every relationship has their ups and downs. Y'all just got to see all of our downs, and y'all didn't get to see all of our ups. So I get why you guys feel like I deserve better, but I'm here to tell you, I have what I want, I have what I need. He has what he wants and what he needs, so we're good. Yeah, well said, well said. And like, uh, what you just said about like, seeing all the, the downs and not all the ups, the viewers might, you know, think that the relationship's one-sided or like, yeah. the scales tip not in your favor. Right. But you guys really, like, there's, it's impossible for them to put in all the good, because it's, it's more interesting to see the bad, right? Yeah, it's like, it's TV. And I, and I, and I don't, I, I will speak for myself, I don't, I don't know how she feels. I'm not necessarily, mad because i understand it's tv at the end of the day they're going to show which what people are engaging with what people want to see is drama it's drama so i understand that from the tv standpoint i don't blame love island i don't blame them they're, they're doing they're making a show at the end of the day but you know my only problems with my only problems with the whole situation is that y'all just didn't get to see a whole lot of the good and there was there was a lot of good yeah. there was a lot of growth like i learned so much from her like she taught me so much she's helped me work on myself I feel like that's, that's very important. And you guys didn't get to see that stuff. Right? 
show more of her character, show like the strong, independent woman that you know I grew to love. You, like that's the important stuff that I want you guys to see. You know, that, so that's the only part I would take away from it that I, that I wish was a tad bit different. But yeah, other than that, it's TV. I don't. That's why I leave all my comments on. I can say what y'all want. It don't. It don't phase me because, like Mike said earlier, based off what y'all seen and what y'all know, because y'all never met me. Y'all, y'all haven't seen me before the show. That's what y'all got. That's your that's your own impression. That's your first impression of me. And it's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. But over time, you will see the difference in the person I am, how she is, how he is. Like, the reason we rock for each other so hard, not just us three, all the time, is why we get along with everybody. Can we see everything. You get what yeah. I'm saying? We see, we know everything. Bro. Yeah. And I, I feel like, you know, that's just a good way for me to, like, speak on it. Yeah, I feel like if they can see everything, like, I, I even um, said that in, like, the post I made about the Sarah Holland incident. Mm-hmm. I was like, if you guys can see everything that went on like, behind the scenes, like, not just, you know what I'm saying, really just, like, for the content, like, the 45 minutes, but if y'all can see the full 24 hours and, like, y'all can see, like, what we went through in there, like, y'all be a lot more understanding of okay. why things Definitely. are the way that they are. Okay. But it's just hard for you guys to imagine that because you only see a 45-minute snippet yeah. of our lives, which is 24 hours a day, you know what I'm saying, yeah. seven days a week when we're in there, so... Right, um, they forget that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying. And the cameras are literally rolling 24 seven. So, like, you think they're gonna put 24 hours of footage in a 45 minute episode? Like, the math simply is not working. Right. Yeah, hundreds of cameras rolling 24 right, seven, and they can only make 45 minutes. Sleeping all, right. bro. Yeah, they, yeah. they yeah. record it in our sleep, bro. Every okay. second. Bro. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't like. I, I can't even like be mad at them for like right. some, yeah, the hate show with some games. I'm like, you guys just yeah. don't know. Exactly. Mm-mm. All right. So this question or this comment <laughs> says, and I'm only even reading this comment because it has 249 likes. So mm. obviously there's more than one person that, that thought this. So um, KK is a grown woman, and if she had a problem with how Sarah said it, it was her place to speak up, not Mike's. Sarah's doing her job like the rest of us, uh, and, and we watched KK get dogged out by Keenan on TV. Okay, cool. We already spoke on the whole Keenan dogging out mm-hmm. KK. Like, it's false. All right, fake news. Uh, so, like, I'm not even gonna touch on that. Um, let's just focus on, on more so the. And we, we even spoke about the, the Sarah Highland doing her job, right? right. For sure. Um, which I 100 percent respect, and we also know there's somebody in your ear saying mm-hmm. to to say they say that. Um, but at the same time, I spoke about how I was doing my job to speak up for my friend, and I hope you guys would do the same if you see your friend in an uncomfortable position. But that's just the way I was brought up. Um, what I really want to touch on is like. KK being a grown woman, um, and if you had a problem with Sarah, uh, like that's your your duty to say. So, did you like mind Sarah asking the, the question multiple times? Did you feel like she was trying to like sneak a jab at, at your choice or sneak a jab at uh, Keenan's character? Honestly, I felt very uncomfortable. I felt like my decision was not supported, and that they were gonna just keep asking me until I changed my mind. And I was just a little bit too uncomfortable to say anything, so I just kept saying like, yes. I'm sure, I'm sure, yes. Like, I just kept it real short and cute because I was uncomfortable. So I didn't mind that Mike spoke up because I didn't feel comfortable to do so in that time. What's old in certain relationships is not old in other relationships, you know what I'm saying? Our relationship as friends, it was old for me, just the way I was brought up to, you know what I'm saying, speak up if I see my friend in a gym. If you see something, say something, bro. It don't Mm -hmm. don't matter, like, really who is with, Mm -hmm. but, um, I think we, we touched on the heavy hitters, bro. Uh, we touched on the, the, is this my business? Did you guys think it was my business to, to step in? I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I, I appreciate sure. it. And I feel like you, you went about it respectful. I feel like it, it got cut crazy. Right. <laughs> it looked wild. Yeah. But I really felt like he handled it as res- respectfully as he could in that situation because he felt his friends kind of being pushed in a direction or just kind of getting jabs taken at him. And... I feel like at that point we were all kind of aware on everyone's kind of viewpoint at, at that standing. So I feel like he was just trying to look out for us. Like he, he clarified he wasn't trying to be disrespectful to Sarah at all. He clarified he understands she's a host. But how else can he communicate to him? You know what I'm saying? He has to say something. He has to make it known that it, like, there's a problem with the situation. Otherwise, they just want to keep having and keep continuing that. Right? Mm-hmm. So I, I do appreciate it, bro. For sure. Yeah. You know I got y'all back, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that pretty much wraps it up. But just one more thing I want to say, um, because in the the podcast with After the Island, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And the podcast were after the island. I, I made a comment basically saying like, I didn't know who Sarah Highland was. I really still don't. And she's got like what ten million on the gram, something crazy like that. No, she popping, bro. But at the same time, it don't matter if she had 10 million followers or one follower. I'm going to say what I say. It don't matter if she's a president, you know what I'm saying? If I feel the type of way about her actions, I'm going to speak up. And a lot of people took that as, oh, when I said my statement in the after the Island interview, they took it as, oh, Mike didn't know how famous she was. That's why he talked to her crazy. No. I'm like, bro, I don't really know who she was in the, at the time, and I, I didn't really care. And honestly, I still don't. It does not matter if, you know... The president was, was in that position. I'm still gonna say how I feel because when we're on the island, when we're in the villa, we're all being paid to be there to say how we feel. So, you know, it doesn't matter who she is in real life or who I am in real life because at the end of the day, we're all humans. No one life is more valuable or more precious than another. Nobody's opinion is more valuable or more precious than another because, you know, where do you draw the line? You know, yeah. Just because you have clout, your opinion is more, more valuable. At the end of the day, like, I know where my heart was at. It wasn't anything malicious. And it's just hard to have an honest, like, open dialogue, open discussion, because it, nowadays people see disagreement and disrespect. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole clip, like, the whole thing that was trending, I said it sounded mad disrespectful what she said. I didn't say, Sarah Hyland, you are mad disrespectful. Right. I just said it sounded disrespectful the way you said it. And me saying that she made a statement that sounded disrespectful is not me attacking her. It's not me disrespecting her. Uh, I feel like, you know, in the four walls of the villa, we're all equals. Mm. Yeah. Same way, same way outside the, the walls of the villa, like, we're all equal. Life is life, bro. Opinions are opinions. Everybody's got them. Um, this is the way I felt in the situation, bro. Uh, anything I want to add to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can leave it at that, man. Rock out. Rock out, rock out, rock out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> So, that's it? I think that's, you know what I'm saying? That's wraps. That's wraps. Sure, sure. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah damn. damn. It's that in the third. This that in the third. Goddamn, goddamn. Someone's eyes is crazy. Someone's eyes is crazy.